question number 151 compound epithelium covers and the options are alveoli of lungs moist surface of buccal cavity inner surface of fallopian tubes inner surface of intestine and the correct answer to this question is option number two moist surface of buccal cavity compound epithelium covers dry surface of skin pharynx inner lining of ducts of salivary glands and of pancreatic ducts the very first option is alveoli of lungs and this is an incorrect option alveoli of lungs are lined by squamous epithelium option number three inner surface of fallopian tubes is incorrect ciliated epithelium lines the inner surface of fallopian tubes and the last option inner surface of intestine is also incorrect because it is lined by columnar epithelium so the correct answer is option number two let's proceed to the next question question number 152 the contractile tissue present in heart is composed of cells that lack now the contractile tissue present in heart is composed of cardiac muscle fibers which are uninucleated involuntary muscle fibers the very first option given is cell junctions and as cell junctions are present in them so this cannot be a correct answer cytoplasm and intercalated disc as these are also present in cardiac muscle fibers so this cannot be a correct answer the last option is many peripheral nuclei as this is not a feature of cardiac muscle fiber so this is a correct answer because many nuclei or syncytium present at the periphery is a characteristic feature of skeletal muscle fibers and not of cardiac muscle fibers cardiac muscle fibers possess a single centrally located nuclei so the correct answer to this question is option number four let's move on to the next question question number 153 among the following cells non-excitable cell is an the options are smooth muscle cell neuron skeletal muscle cell astrocyte and the correct answer to this question is option number four astrocyte which is a neuroglial cell is a non-excitable cell other options smooth muscle cell neuron and skeletal muscle cell are excitable cells so they cannot be a correct answer and the correct answer is option number four let's move on to the next question question number 154 choose the incorrect statement with respect to chemical composition of a living tissue and the very first option given is the acid soluble pool contains many organic compounds this is a correct statement so cannot be a correct answer Second statement given is all the carbon compounds obtained by grinding living tissues with trichloroacetic acid TCA are called biomolecules. This is a correct statement, cannot be a correct answer. Next statement says the dry weight of a living tissue can be obtained by fully burning it and this is an incorrect statement and is a correct answer to our question because living tissue gives wet weight when it is dried all the water evaporates and dry weight is obtained when the tissue is fully burned all the carbon compounds are organized to gaseous form and ash remains the last statement given is elemental analysis gives the composition of living tissues in the form of hydrogen oxygen carbon etc is a correct statement so cannot be a correct answer and the correct answer to this question is option number three let's move on to the next question question number 155 all alpha amino acids contain all of the following except and the options are carboxylic group alpha carbon hydrogen methyl group and the correct answer to this question is option number four there are four substituted groups occupying the four valency positions these are hydrogen carboxyl group and amino group and a variable r group so option number one two and three are incorrect options based on the nature of r group there are many types of amino acids so option number four is the correct answer to this question let's proceed to the next question mm -hmm. 